Come here, Con. Come here, boy. Okay, stand. Good boy. Greetings, one and all, and welcome to my next Let's Play. It is called Fated Heaven, Chapter 1. Hey, Merrick, get out of my seat. You're not doing this play. What? What for? Because I said so. I promised my buddy Nate I'd do this. Now fuck off and go back to Egypt. Hey, fuck you, Payton. You still owe me those Yaoi magazines from when I did Final Fantasy VII with you. Yeah, and I mailed them to you. Go check your inbox. They should be there by now. Unless you made Zork burn them down again. Ah. Alright, sorry about that, guys. What's up, man? Hunter P. Brown here playing a game that my buddy made, Nate Benton. His name, uh, yeah, Nate Benton made this, my friend. And uh, it's called Faded Heaven Chapter 1. It's a three part series. Um, part 2 should be coming out sometime later in a few months. We're going to play Part 1 right now, though. Um, to be flat honest, I haven't really played this game much. I guess so to say, um, just getting the settings all fixed up, you know, window mode, that whole thing, so that way I can play this efficiently, and let's get to work on it. Here we go. Alright, welcome to Faded Heaven Chapter 1. Oh, Haven. Why do I keep saying Heaven? What the hell? Would you like to play the game with a mouse? Nah. Because it'll be in the in the way, so. Faded Haven Chapter 1 uses features not found in most RPG titles. If you've never played Faded Haven Chapter 1 before, it is strongly suggested that you play through the short tutorial portion of the game. Would you like to play the tutorial? Well, I played it getting all the settings right, so let's go ahead and skip it. Yeah, I stopped right here when I was setting up everything. War. Peace. Rebellion. Sacrifice. Cool, voice acting. Since the beginning of time, war has been inevitable. War has been, and always will be, an endless cycle within the human race. Yeah, that's why religion isn't the source of all wars. It will forever be a stain on mankind. The world never changes. And history repeats itself. The story of war, peace, rebellion, and sacrifice. The how... rise of a tyrannical empire under rebellion counterbalance. I wonder who did the voice acting for this. The story of the first chapter. Because it was a pretty good job, I might add. The story of Fated Haven, Chapter 1. It begins on the final night of freedom. Damn, that doesn't give you much room for mistakes now, does it? <laughs> so this is the town of Vance. Yes, sir! Is this where you want the station? Yes, it will do. I think I know just where to put our little haven as well. Follow me. Yes, this location is perfect. No. Yes, sir! Now, just to set the base of our soon to be glorious haven. Beautiful. Damn, that whole crystal made that whole thing? Talk about some heavy duty power. Let's assure that we get a warm welcome by the locals. Head into town, as well as the outskirts and dispose of some of the locals. Oh, shit. Teach them early that we ought to be taken seriously. Yes, sir, as you wish. What are you doing out there, Leaf? Am I saying that right, Leaf? Correct me if I'm wrong, Nate. All hell is breaking loose outside. Get in here. Leaf? Jay, you're here. Yes, I was outside when the attack started. Jonathan was nice enough to let me hide here with him. It won't be long before they find us. We need to head out through the bag and get out while we still can. Yes, I agree. Let's get out of here. Sir, I found more of them. Leaf, Jay, get out of here. I'll hold them off. This way, Leaf. Jonathan. 
Get out of here, Leaf. Don't worry about me. Go protect Jade. Be careful, Jonathan. You know, helping them isn't going to stop us from killing them. They're next, right after you. Then bring it on. Oh yeah! Yeah! Fuck! Leaf! A dead end? No! Here they come! Fuck! Poor fool! He didn't last long at all. It was nice of him to die so quickly. He gave us the opportunity to kill you even sooner. He's dead? Jonathan. Enough talk! Hand over your lives! Buy my bag! Alright. Yeah. Damn it! Go away! Damn! Leaf's party was victorious! And we found no items. Ugh! How can we defeat about you two? Captain, I'm... Boy, you have potential. But we need something, girl. You'll do. Are you casting it, sir? Yes. Now is the time. What the shit? Jade, no! Thief! Jade! Leaf! How bad is it? It doesn't look good. Leaf! I'm going to die! No, Jade, don't talk about that, please! Leaf! You and I? Yes, Jade? We've had some pretty good times! I'm still a virgin, too. I... had fallen in love with you, Leaf! I had fallen with you in love... in love with you, too, Jade, please! Don't leave me, come on! I don't want to die, virgin! Promise me that you'll fight for us, no matter what! Fight for the people! For me! Uh, I promise, okay? You know, I mean, I'll lose my virginity somehow else, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. J wait, Jade? Jade? Jade, please no! Jade, don't leave me! God, oh, fuck! Bummer, dude. Jade, it's been a while, hasn't it? There isn't a day that goes by that I don't think of you, Jade. I will keep my promise, I swear. It seems like just yesterday that you and I were side by side. And I was ready to ask you to have sex. Leaf, we'll be starting soon. I'll be right there, Xavier. Don't rush. I'm sh I just thought I would let you know. In, in order to begin, we still need Claire. Who knows where she is? <laughs> She's always out and about. Yeah, there's never any guessing where she is. I'll meet you back in town. Nate's probably lol his ass off thinking I'm making this look... I could turn anything into a dirty sex joke. Any game. Just, I don't know. I just, I don't know how the fuck I do it. I just do. Because you're a pervert. Faded Haven, Chapter 1. Alright, cool. Oh, I can walk, okay. Wait a sec. There you go. That's a good link. Fuck you, old man. Did you know you can open doors by standing next to them and pressing the Z, enter, or space keys? You can also click the left mouse button. This is one of our ancient travel temples of the world. Long ago, people could travel between towns all across the world in a blink of an eye. The power has since worn off. Well, sooner or later, I'll reactivate it. How's that sound? What you got? Welcome! Would you like to shop with us today? Let's see what you got. HP, MP, Fallen Member, only out of battle. Let's be safe and get a couple of those. I like this music. Did you compose this yourself, Nate? Or did you have some help uh, doing it? I'm just wondering. Because, wow, it's, it sounds really good, you know. I suppose when I get to the credits of this, which I don't know how long this game is going to take me, so... Um, 
I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. Hang on a second, I see a treasure chest. Treasure chest! 50 gen! Am I saying that right? Gen? Or is it gen? Do you normally walk into random houses? <laughs> I like how you point that out. We haven't been able to fix that door in ages. The door is jammed. Don't go into my room! Sorry, I wanted to sniff your panties. I please be over 18, that's all I can say. Sometimes just staring at the water helps me calm down and get my mind off things. Try it. Don't try anything, pedestrian. You should go get Claire. She must be around town somewhere. Come back when you find her. A photo ID would help. My daughter wants that music box at the shop, but I just don't think I do not have the time out of my busy day to just stand out standing out here to God damn it. But I just don't do not have the time out of my busy day of just standing here to go get it. I didn't see no music box unless it's at another shop. I'll find out when I get there. Leaf has learned water. Water allows Leaf to cast an attack of water on opponents. Cool. Pedestrians that go past this point will be attacked by Than Thanando units. You've been warned. Well, I killed a couple of them earlier, but I'll just take his word for it. By the way, guys, my nose is, like, runny somewhat, so I might sniff. I'll try and mute it or cut it out, but chances are I won't, so... Welcome to the weapon shop. Would you like to purchase something? Yes. That. That. Yeah, that's a cool leg. Fuck you all, man. Yeah. I definitely learned the controls quick, that's for sure. Right. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to come here just yet. Don't even think about coming inside of the haven. Even with the Fernando, things aren't so bad. They could always be worse, right? Hell if I know. I shouldn't leave town yet. Yeah, 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 I know. I guess I just talked to everybody in town until I find her. Claire? I believe she's been hanging around the inn lately. Oh, no wonder. I should have gone in the end. Ooh, treasure chest. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Adrenaline. Yay. It's like Phoenix Downs. Treasure chest. 50 gen. I dream of a life where I can do what, where I can do what I love for a living. A life where there is no thanado, no control over us. Where we, we can be free. Someday I want to get a job at this end. It's just so peaceful here. Hey, Claire. Xavier told me to come find you. We're starting the meeting soon. Oh, great. Today is supposed to be a really big day for us. Let's hope it goes well. Yeah, you know how Xavier is at these meetings. He gets so worked up. <laughs> Leaf, how'd it go? It went fine. I can't believe she's gone, but it's been six months already. She's in a better place, Leaf. Try and keep your head high. I always do. We should get it going. Yeah, I almost forgot. Cool. Leave me alone, pedestrian. Sir, if you'd like to rest, please check in here. What's back here? Oh, I figured there'd be... That's a fireplace. I figured it'd be like an entrance to a pub or something. Like in Zombies Ate My Neighbors or something. You two ready? Yeah. 
Are you hyped up enough yet, Xavier? <laughs> ah, Xavier, you know he's right. You always go into these meetings with a super serious attitude. Well, it is serious. It's very important. It should be taken lightly. We know, Xavier. We're just kidding. Yeah, well, should we get started? Yes, let's go. Ah, nice to see you three made it. Yeah, we wouldn't miss it for anything. Every Everybody else is already down below. So let's get going. Cool. Well, go ahead. Go ahead, Leaf. The last thing that Neo remembered, he was drunk playing a game of Zelda. And this is the wrong game to mention that in because he's not in it, but he's still affixating himself with the Nintendo game control and that somehow transporting him into the game. Uh, <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Everyone, it's time. Yes, we finally have a plan to come to the Thanado. I'm willing to do what I have to do. As you may know, the Thanado have tight security around their haven. Yeah, that place just shot up overnight. They're very protective of it. We believe the Thanado are taking over as many locations as they, as they can. We haven't been able to figure out why, but their haven they have built here. It seems to be the only one they made, so it appears the Thanado have made Vance the home of their base. Yeah, but... Why are they so uptight about not even letting anybody near there? That's what we're trying to figure out. But we believe that maybe something... That there's something inside that we can use to exploit them. Yeah, they're certainly hiding something from us. We certainly... We're certain that there are higher, higher powers within the Thanado. All the soldiers running around here are just henchmen. Shade. What is it, Leaf? When they killed her, they cast some sort of spell. It seemed as if they threw their, away their lives and dragged the life right out of her. Yes, it sounds like they cast the Doom Day spell on her. Only something that members of the Thanato can learn. That's not all. What? One of them told me I had potential. They said that they needed something right before killing Jade. Huh? Why didn't you tell us this before? I never really thought much about it. It's just, I just forgot about it until now. Oh, you fucking moron. Ugh. Well, Leaf, if the Thanado have interest in you, what is it that you had that they want from you? We can't let them get a hold of you under any circumstances. Uh, maybe I should have just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> Leaf, Claire, the three of us need to head over to Groveway. There's something we have to do there. What is it, Xavier? I'll explain later. As for everybody else, keep watch over Vance Report anything to the Legend of Neil. Dismissed. What is he having us do? Leaf, do you know about power statues? Um, uh, maybe? You can find a number of magical statues throughout the world. There are these statues that have glowing orbs around them. Right, approach one of them and one of us will learn a magic ability. It's simple. Now let's get going. Well, that explains how Leaf already got his. <coughs> oh, fuck. Hang on a second, I need to get a drink. This time I've got Pepsi, no beer. Thank God, too. Yeah, here we go. Claire has learned cure. Xavier has learned fire. Great. How come I get how come I get water and he gets fire? Seriously, what the hell? I should be getting the badass spells like Meteor and uh uh um uh, what else uh what's something else um uh, uh, some it has to be something original or or some kind of attack that like casts uh uh poison slow stop death all of those skills in one thing, I guess? I don't know. What's this? I'll miss you. I'll miss you, Jonathan. I gave him a girl's voice for a second. That's funny. Oh, this sucks. I'm back in my childhood memory home. Do I have a treasure chest? Yes, I do. Nobody in your party has log, skill log, whatever. There's a letter written by Jonathan. Charles really is terrible at housework. Not only did I notice he installed his door handle backwards, but he dropped the keys to it while he was visiting. If he locks that door, he won't be able to get in his backyard. I should return it the next time I return to town. Cool.
Oh, yeah. I'll save the key for later. What are you fuckers? Come here. Oh, they're monsters. Well, kick their asses. All we can get all this shit down here. Leaf's party was victorious. We found no items. You're gonna die next. Yeah, eat my attacks! Brooklyn Rage! Told you. Leaf is now level 2. Claire is now level 2. Xavier is level 2. We found no items. Alright, let's see. Well, just like every other game, boost up the attack. Give one for log. Make it two, just be safe. Make yourselves powerhouses. If I need to level up, just find some monsters and kick their asses. That's the basic gist of it. <laughs> gist. I just gotta figure out where the hell it is I gotta go. Some place called Gloomdale or something. No, it's not that way. Pedestrians that go past this point will be attacked by Thanatos humans. We got the hiccups. Potion. Adrenaline. Whoa, mold. Multi treasure chest, I like those. Ampule. Come here. I'll rip your head off and shit down your head. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try a little bit of these. What up? What the shit? Maybe I should have leveled up or def maybe I should have leveled her up a little more. Um, yeah. That's a cool like fuck you old man. What the five mat that's it? No wonder it was selling so cheap. Wow. Talk about splitting your luck. I can't use that again, so attack normally. What? What the fuck? Right now, Xavier's ahead. What about Leaf? Yeah, what about Leaf? <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to go that way. Maybe it's this way I gotta go. Gold bars. Um. Nobody has that. What's this? Uh. Is that what he's. Did he say Groveway? I hate my fucking short term memory! Let's just say this for the sake of saying. We need to find something that can melt the ice. We can't go that way then. Groveway just ahead. Maybe this is it. Yeah, nobody has that, so we'll have to come back later. The arena is one of Groveway's many attractions. Welcome to Groveway. Oh, oh, hey, check it out, check it out, check it out. I like swords. Welcome to Groveway. I like swords. Welcome to Groveway. I like swords. 
urge to destroy the world rising. I gotta find an end. Yeah, there we go. Hey, I need to stay here for the night. 30 cent a night. Thank you, come again. Rest it up and ready to go. Well, so far I'm having fun with the game. Just a couple surprises. I guess that's what you meant when you say this is different from other RPGs. Anyway. There's nothing to see here, pedestrian. Scram! What the shit was that? What the hell? No! Come on, no! That cave is all that separates us from the town ahead. We're not allowed to go in the cave, though. Hold it. I'm not supposed to let anybody inside unless they have some sort of way to prove their strength. Sorry. Yeah, I don't have seven block whatever. People from all over the world travel to take part in Grove Boys Arena. I need to get some potions. Potions don't good, then get out, pedestrian. Hey, fuck you. This ain't no socialist, but damage uh, socialist uh, thing. As far as I know. Yeah, fuck socialism. And fuck you if you follow it. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, watch somebody bitch about it. Hey, I'm a socialist. Do I go to the arena? Alright, we're all registered. Well, who is this? Leaf. And you? The name is Kata. Will you be participating in the arena? We weren't sure, perhaps. Ha! Good luck with that! You can't even register unless you have a team of four people! I guess you got a luck, Leaf! Ha <sighs> ha! Well, it was nice meeting you, Leaf. We have a tournament to fight in. Let's go, everyone! What a dick! Do not read this. It has nothing to do with the game or anything to do with this arena. <laughs> Fourth wall breaking! I'm sorry, you need at least four people to register for the arena. You may not enter the ri Whatever. Let's go. So much for that. Yeah, we already said. Do you normally walk the random houses? Yes, I do. My heart just broke recently. I'd really like to get a new one. Is there going to be like some kind of trading quest in this? Like in Zelda? That'd be pretty cool, I'm just saying. So why are you here, Xavier? Leaf, Claire, do you know what this building is? Of course! This is one of the ancient travel temples. Long ago, people used these temples to travel from one town to another. The magic wore off though, right? Yeah, and they literally fast... They could literally fast travel anywhere in the world. To put it that way, yes. So what about it? We have something planned with the people in the bordering towns. We want to find a way to restore the magic to all the temples. Wait a minute! Are you planning what I think you are? Yes. We want to get the temple's magic restored so that we can easily transport a large amount of people from one place, from all over the world, to overthrow a certain enemy haven. Ha! You're amazing, Xavier. Great thinking, but I, I just have one problem. I, just how do you plan on doing that? Restoring the magic to the temples, that is. That's what I'm wondering. Well, I have a friend in Rivermore named Matthew. He knows a lot about the history of the travel temples. He might be able to give us some sort of idea on how we might be able to restore the magic in the temples. Yeah, but the road to Rivermore has been blocked off for some for quite some time. I think we should take a look at the temple east of Vance. They used to be a main magic source for the rest of the temples, right? Maybe we can find some sort of clue there. Hmm. Yeah, that might work. Though I would feel more comfortable if we just find another person to travel with us. Just us three is more dangerous. Well, let's look around town while we're here. Maybe we might be able to obtain some things. We might 
need while we're here. Good idea! Let's get going then! Finally, I caught up with you guys! Yeah, I saw you in the meeting today. Who are you? I've never seen you before today. My name is Nora! I'm new to the rebellion against the Thanato! Quiet down, there's Thanatosaurs all over the place. Come on. We're talking whisper here. Oh my gosh, how could it be so dumb? Shh, 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 shh. Don't worry about it. I just don't want to get us all killed. Look, why don't you come with the three of us? We need another person anyways. We got a plan. Yeah, that's actually what I followed you over here. I wanted to see if I could be of any help to, well, well, you know. Great, then it's settled. Let's all get going. All right, four people now. Anyway, I'm going to take a break, so... Just checking. Adios, guys. Nate, I hope you're enjoying this. And comment, criticize what I'm doing. Uh, it's been fun. It's fun so far. Just a few surprises here and there. I guess it's what you mean when you say different from RPGs. Hey, I like that sort of thing. I really do. It just catches me by surprises. All. Anyway, HD rendering. Here we come.